In Advanced Molecular Biology, the third series of lecture in the case of the cell synthesis is another important aspect of the cell division, and that is the mitosis. Now, what is mitosis? The process in which the sister chromatids, they are separated and distributed, that is the segregation, to a pair of identical daughter nuclei is known as the mitosis, and each with its own copy of the genome. Remember, in the cell cycle, the most important function for the cell is to produce a similar cell, a cell of itself. So it means another important thing is that mitosis, it takes place in the regular body cell. It cannot take place in the dead cell or in the cells which are outside of the body. And it keeps the cell living and growing. That's its important function. Now, in this cartoon, the different stages of mitosis that has been demonstrated, that is the interphase, prophase, prometaphases, metaphase, anaphase, and a telophase, where the different types and the different stages of the chromosome separation has been illustrated. One of the most remarkable feature of the cell cycle control is that a single protein kinase, that is the MCDK, that is the cyclone-dependent kinase, which brings about all of the diverse and the complex cell rearrangements that occur in the early stages of mitosis. Now, the important aspect is dephosphorylation activates the MCDK at the onset of mitosis. MCDK activation begins with the accumulation of M cycling. It, most of the cell types, however, M cycling synthesis increases during G2 and M phases. Remember, in the initial lecture, we discussed about the gap between the cell synthesis, which we refer to as G1 and G2 phases. Now, in this cartoon, in the mitosis, the activation of M cells has been shown, where you can see that the MCD in CDK1 inactive MCDK, it joins with the CDN and becomes activate, where the CDK inhibitor kinase, it affects on this, and there is a positive feedback. Feedback means is that it transmits the signals to the cell that it should divide, and then again, active MCDK is formed and makes the mitosis possible. The increase in M cycling protein leads to a corresponding accumulation of MCDK, that is the complex of CDK1 and M cycling, as we shown in the previous slides, as the cell approaches the mitosis. Thus, by the time the cell reaches the end of G2, it contains an abundant stockpile of MCDK. It means that the cell synthesis or mitosis is controlled by the enzymes. Now, the regulatory point of view, the mitosis can be divided into the two major parts. First, the abrupt increase in the MCDK, as we have seen, activity at G2 transition. And the second, the major part begins at the metaphase to anaphase transition, which initiate the separation of the sister chromatid. Now, in here, the chromosome attachment to the mitotic spindle in the animal cells has been demonstrated, where we can see in the late prophase, the spindle, it appears, and then the early prometaphase, inner lateral kinetochore attachment chromosomes, they are pushed outside and then M mid prometaphase end on attachment 
and finally the chromosome they staggered and the spindle it disappears so mcdk must induce the assembly of the mitotic spindle spindle ensure that each sister chromatid in a pair is attached to the opposite pole of the spindle and it triggers the chromosome condensation thank you